So I wanted to make a video about the reason why I wrote the book Practical Descent Energy Management. When I first started flying, which was on the Boeing 737, I really didn't understand the subject. It took me a very long time, about 2000 hours or so before I really understood it. And even then I sometimes got myself in a situation where I wasn't sure what to do. At the time I thought I was the only one who didn't understand it. But as it later turned out, that isn't quite the way it works. Everybody struggles with this subject. Every new pilot flying a jet aircraft, they struggle with this. And as I eventually became a captain and then started to uh, do training, uh, I discovered that this is such a widespread problem and there isn't really any documentation available about it. And there are some articles written about it, some by uh, ATC, some by Airbus and some by individual airlines. But I didn't really sometimes agreed with it and sometimes I found it was overly simplified and didn't really go to the point. So what I did when I started to fly as a training captain was to write some notes because um, I found myself explaining the same thing over and over again to the student pilots. And so I got all these notes together, made a little handout and gave it to all the pilots I flew with and I just said, here, read this and I thought that would solve the problem. But of course, it isn't that simple. People still kept on making the same mistakes and so sometimes I saw a new situation which I had never seen before thinking, mm, that's interesting, uh, I should add it to my notes. So the notes kept on growing and growing and eventually the handout which was just a couple of pages turned out to be hundreds, of, no not hundreds of pages but maybe like 150 pages or so. At which, which point I thought well why not just make a book about it. So I wrote the book over the course of a couple of years. It was quite a lot of work making all the vector graphics and keeping redesigning and rewriting certain sections but eventually it was finished. And funny enough, it's the only book available about this subject for the 320 or I believe even for the uh, 737 nobody really wrote a book about this uh, specific subject. And it's kind of strange if you think about it. I mean the A320 has been in operation for decades and descent management is the single most difficult subject about flying the, uh, for any jet aircraft for that matter and why nobody really put all this information together before and put it into a nice book i don't know but at least we have a book available now there's an ebook available uh, and a paperback hard copy and also um, a ring bound uh, copy okay so there's finally a book about the subject does this solve the problem of people not understanding descent management well unfortunately not you can't really learn it from a book. So why publish a book in the first place then? Uh, it's mostly meant as a, as a reference. You read the book, if you never flew the jet on the line before, it probably doesn't really make sense. And then you start flying and then you might uh, um, remember certain sections of the book and start to apply it. After a while you should really reread it and then things start to make sense more. You want to highlight certain sections as applicable and fly more and eventually reread re again. That's the best way to do it. But even then, it is uh, still difficult to master the subject. So um, I made a YouTube channel with quite a few videos of approaches on it where other pilots made a couple of mistakes and which is really good to l uh, learn from. How do I make these videos? If I fly with uh, people who struggle with descent management, which are mostly cadets, but sometimes also um, experienced pilots, that does happen, even though it's a bit more rare. But if I notice somebody struggles with the subject, I always film the approach with a GoPro. And later we can have a look at the video ag again during the debrief. And this helps a lot 
for the student pilot to really understand what went wrong. Now, it is quite useful also for other people, these videos. So what I started to do is uh, save all the good videos or bad videos, if you want to call it that. And these videos together with the book should give you a pretty good idea about what the Zen management is all about. Now, even having all this reference material, it will still take time to master the subject. You really have to get into the aircraft, fly approaches as much as you can for years, and eventually you will become a master of it. And it also really depends on your own attitude about this. I see that some people, they really don't have the motivation to really get the, to the bottom of it, whilst others do. And the pilots who really want to understand it, they always uh, perform better in the end. Okay, so why is descent management so important? Well, for two reasons. Uh, one is for fuel savings. Uh, of course, fuel is very expensive these days. And the other reason is for safety. Now, why safety? It's basically in case of pilot incapacitation. It doesn't matter how good you can land the aircraft, but if you can't put the aircraft on the approach in a good energy state, so not too high and not too fast, then you can't land the aircraft. So it is very important, especially for cadet pilots, to have a, at least a, a thorough understanding of how to put the aircraft on the ILS without being too high on energy. And this is very, very important in case of pilot incapacitation. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below.